Number 70. Based on their positions in the periodic table, predict which has the smallest first ionization energy. L I C S N F or I. Okay, so we did a very similar problem like this in number 69. So if you want to do more practice, you could go and see that one if you haven't already. But ionization energy, what is that? Well, ionization energy is the energy needed in order to remove an electron. All right. So when you remove an electron, you always become a positive charged atom, right? So you become a cation, you become an ion. So ionization energy is always talking about removing electrons. It's never talking about gaining electrons. So we want to know which out of these atoms has the smallest first ionization energy. First ionization energy, the first implies that you're only losing the first electron. So a second ionization energy would be the energy needed in order to lose a second electron, implying that you already lost one of them. So we want to find out which one is the smallest ionization energy. Okay. So there's the trend. We need to know the trend for periods and for groups. Periods go across the periodic table. So the trend for ionization energy, and I'm just going to put ionization energy, IE for here, just know that as you go across the period from left to right, ionization energy would um, increase. Okay, so that means that these elements on the right hand side would have a much higher amount of energy needed in order to remove an electron as opposed to the elements over here. Why is that? Because generally speaking, nonmetals, this part, wants to gain electrons. They don't want to remove electrons. It's usually the metals that want to lose electrons. So the more energy is needed, the harder it is to do. So that's why there's much higher energy over this way, because they don't want to do that. Now, going down a group, so as you're going from top to bottom, ionization energy will decrease. So as you're going down a group, so if you're going down from fluorine to iodine and below, your ionization energy would decrease. So that means that you would have much higher ionization energies at the top as opposed to the little ones down below. Why is that? Because these elements down below are huge, right? Remember, as you go down the periodic table, your radius gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So those electrons, those outer electrons, are more farther away from the nucleus. And those electrons are like, eh, I can leave. I can leave, right? I'm not, I'm not super close to the nucleus, so I can just leave, making it easier, a.k.a. less energy. So now let's see where these atoms are. So we got lithium, which is over here. Uh, we got cesium, which is down here. Nitrogen is over here. Fluorine and then iodine. And we want to know which one is the smallest. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the group trend, right? And the group trend is always as you go down a group, ionization energy will decrease. So that means that the low energy ones are here and the higher energy ones are up here. And we're looking for the smallest. So we can automatically cancel out all the ones that are on the top, right? Or the top or part of the periodic table because the lower elements would be smaller ionization energies. So we could say bye-bye to fluorine, nitrogen, and lithium, because cesium is all the way at the bottom, and iodine is all the way at the bottom. But now we got to figure out which one is smaller, cesium versus iodine. That's when you do your, uh, your trend across the period, from left to right. As you go from left to right... Remember, your ionization energy increases, which means that you would have high energies here and low energies here. We still want to find out the smallest, so it would make sense that cesium would have the smallest first ionization energy. So cesium is the correct answer. So that just means that it has the least amount of energy required in order to lose or remove an electron. That's all that this is saying. All right? So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button. And if you want to help the channel out, click subscribe. Thank you so much for that. I will see you all in the next question. Have a great day.